Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so this is going to be a quick short video about a call that I had given some time back on my public telegram channel and I had just posted the entry exit and the stop loss points but had not explained why that trade was recommended. Okay, so now since the given target has been achieved, uh, please allow me to explain a bit about why the trade was recommended and uh, you will know how to analyze or how to do a technical analysis on a particular stock okay so that will be something which will be helpful to you okay all right so it was around a three percent move that has been caught in access bank uh, in maybe two to three trading sessions okay the suggestion was to initiate a buy trade post the high of the 8th September candle was breached, okay, which was around uh, a price point of 782.30. Okay, the stock we are talking about is uh, Access Bank, okay, and the target was around 804.90 rupees or round it up to 805 rupees, okay, and the target was hit yesterday in yesterday's session that was on 12th of September, okay. Now, let me actually show you all the broadcast. Uh, that I had made about this particular trade in the telegram channel okay uh, just for the people who don't uh, uh, who are not able to recollect okay just a moment so as you can see here this is the telegram channel and knowingly I have uh, uh, hidden the uh, display icons of uh, the guys just to protect their identity so you can have a look on the right hand side of this page okay as you can see here this is my telegram channel right HYIT intraday calls and this call was given on 8th of September as you can see here right 8th of September the call was given and I had just posted the chart right and uh, I had mentioned that the blue line is the entry point pink line is your target and the black line is your stop loss okay I had also mentioned it very clearly here the script name is access bank trade type was buy and trade details was uh, as I said blue line is the entry black line is the stop loss and the pink line would be the would be your target okay so this was or this is the call or the recommendation that I had made on the public telegram channel okay now so I would say 
Overall, it was a nice swing trade wherein the position was initiated post the resistance was broken, which was again supported by a huge volume. Okay, and most importantly, one more thing on which I emphasized a lot was the move that was made post the resistance was broken. Okay, let me bring in the chart here and let me explain what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the chart and uh, let me bring in the pencil. Right, so the first thing which we need to take care is the things that are very clear to the eyes, right? So I had asked to take the buy position once the high of this candle is breached, right? This candle. So your entry will be here and the resistance that I'm talking about is this, right? Because this was a swing high that was made earlier. So that becomes a resistance. Okay, now this candle breached the resistance and closed above it. So point number one, which I just mentioned before some time, is I had a, I emphasized a lot on the movement of the script post the resistance was breached. So post the resistance was breached, it did not move much, right? So if I delete these things, after the resistance was breached, just a moment, let me also make it thin. So here, so after the resistance was breached, it did not move so much, right? So the movement was right from here till here, right? So this was the movement. And if you see the script price is around 700 or, or 780 rupees script. So a 780 rupees script giving a movement of this sort after the resistance was breached is not a big deal. So what is the point that I'm trying to make? The point that I'm trying to make here is if you take up such trades wherein the resistance has been breached, okay, and, oh, sorry. Let me draw the resistance. Wherein the resistance has been breached and the stock has not moved up quite well from the support zone or from the support line. So this resistance, before this candlestick actually breached this particular resistance, this line will be called as a resistance. But the moment the stock breaches that blue line and closes above it, at that very moment, this blue line becomes a support. It is no more a resistance. So the resistance becomes a support. And if you see that the script has not moved much, in, much above from the support line, then you can initiate a buy trade just when this particular high is breached. Right? So what happened the next day? The next day, we got a red candle. But again, it did not even come closer to the support line, right? So the retracement was almost not there, you might say, right? So I hope you are getting the point. So make sure that whenever you are planning a buy trade and if you see a stock breaching the resistance and closing very close to the support line, you can initiate a trade just when the high of that particular candle is breached. Because why should you initiate when the high is broken? Because it has less chances to retrace down. More are the chances that it will keep moving up. Okay, so this is how you should study the technicals that are being shown on the chart. Okay, that was point number one. Another thing which I had mentioned, I did not mention earlier, but this is one of the most important things that I follow, is the Fibonacci extension. Okay, if you draw a Fibonacci extension, so we draw a Fibonacci extension from a major swing low to the latest swing high and to the latest support or latest swing low, you may say. Okay, and I drop it there. So this tells me that post this support, okay, when the stock takes a support here and moves up, okay, when it takes a support here and then it starts moving up, till what point can it reach? So that will be our target. 
So very clearly, the first target is here, right? 38.2% is our first target, which was met very easily without much hustle. That again gives me the confirmation that if this resistance, so right now, this is a resistance, right? This is a resistance right now. It is not a support. It is a resistance. It will be become a support when the candlestick breaches this line and closes above it. So this candle, when this candle closed above this line, then this line became a support, which was a resistance earlier. So now it is a support. Okay, so that also gave me a confirmation that it is a strong support that has been formed because the Fibonacci extension levels are matching the support area and the target is also very close to the red zone, right? Why have I drawn a red zone here? Guys, just a moment, okay? I'm sorry about it. Okay, so what I was saying was, why did I draw a red zone over here? It's because it's very obvious that the script has been retesting these levels again and again. And this is the third time that it is retesting this particular level. Okay, that is why it becomes a resistance zone. Simple as that, right? So when we take an entry at this point, our first target obviously will be the next resistance. Now there are two confirmation, uh, two confirmations about the next resistance level. One confirmation, conf confirmation number one is this red zone. Confirmation number two is this Fibonacci level. Both are very close to each other, so it gives me immense confidence that this stock can easily go and touch this resistance level. And the same happened here. Okay, so that is how I defined a target here. So this point was 805. Okay, and today, uh, today, right? Yeah, Tuesday, 13th of September. Today also it tried going up, but it was not so successful. But still, it is bullish. Okay, so this is how you read the charts by bringing in various technicals and by finding which are the technicals that are actually supporting the up move and whether those technicals are valid or not. You simply cannot go ahead and trade any of the breakouts. Okay, the reasons or the logics that you draw out from the chart should be strong enough to support that up move. And that is when you take a call that, okay, it has more chances to go up. So let me go ahead and uh, initiate a buy trade in that particular script. Okay, so, uh, right. So this is what I wanted to explain, uh, guys. So seeing all these things, uh, I had recommended and anticipated that Access Bank might move up. And one more thing to note here, guys, is that not every breakout sustains itself and goes up, as I said before some time. Okay, so it should not be the case that you start trading every breakout. So the pointer is watch out for as many confirmations as you can. Try to retrieve the maximum information from the charts that favors the up move if the resistance is breached. Similarly, if a support is breached, we need to find the reasons or the confirmations accordingly. Okay, so the more the confirmations, the more solid your technical analysis becomes and the more confident you will be to stand for your decisions. Okay, so I hope uh, this was helpful guys and uh, the guys who follow me, my friends, they might have uh, earned well. That is what I have guessed, okay? Yet again, please remember and make it a point that while doing the technical analysis, you should consider the tits and bits of everything that is happening on the charts, okay? Only then you will be able to connect the dots. And the technicals, they play a major role in letting you know what might happen, okay? Just that, I, just that you need to understand what the technicals are saying and everything is sorted, okay? Now, if you ask me what might happen happen to access bank in the upcoming days okay let's get back to the chart so you might be having a question that okay now what might happen to access bank in the upcoming days okay well it's very evident that it will face a resistance as i told earlier because that red zone that you see here is a resistance zone and that has been retested multiple number of times right here here and this is the third time but 
it was unable to breach this particular resistance level okay so for sure it will face a resistance and post that depending on the move we can decide what stance should we take as a trader we don't have to stress ourselves right now on that okay whatever we had to do we did it at the perfect time now it's time for the stock to move and then we will decide what needs to be do what needs to be done next after the stocks after the stock shows its movement if it breaches up okay let's say for example uh let me bring in the pencil okay just a moment so let's say it breaches uh, this particular resistance level if that is the case it will start moving up but will you initiate a position when it is moving up obviously no wait for the retracement let it retrace down okay let it come close to this support level and then when it starts moving up that is when you will initiate a trade here you can initiate a buy trade here and you can expect the stock to be going up that is one example that is one thing that might happen another thing that might happen is it will not breach this resistance and it will start a down move again so here also we see an opportunity what is the opportunity the opportunity is when it moves down wait for a retracement to happen and when it approaches the resistance uh this resistance zone and then when you see it is it has start falling again you initiate a sell trade here and your target can be anywhere near this because that is one of the swing highs or maybe at the next resistance level which is here so it all depends guys okay it all depends uh what exactly are you studying on the charts okay i just showed you how you should be studying the chart okay what might be the thing that might be happening in future and if that particular thing happens how you need to trade so as a trader you always have a chance to you know retrieve money from the market but condition is that you need to know how to analyze the stock first you have to be a good technical analysis uh, a good technical analyzer okay that is the main point okay so that's all from my end guys i um, i really apologize because i initially told that it is going to be a short video but i think we have extended it a bit but i also believe that you might have got some value out of it okay so that's it from my end i'll not bug you guys more so that's it from my end and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not the, do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later and it was super fast hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye